This is what I have been begging for from E-Flight for years and years and years. This is the kind of thing that I want to see when it comes to scale planes. It's a scale stun plane and man, it looks amazing. This is the brand new Decathlon 3S and 4S capable RJ Gritter. <laughs> This thing assembled in about 20 minutes or less. It was very easy to put together. We have tons of room under the canopy and there were a couple unique features like this wing clip. This actually comes on and off so that when you take your main wing off for transportation, you can clip your wing struts up flush with the wing. A very unique, maybe even unnecessary feature that I've never seen before, but that was interesting. It came clipped on for transportation. Now you'll notice, the keen eye may have noticed anyway, there are no flaps on this. This is a simple four channel plane. You could call it five channels because of safe. We do have safe on because eventually I think Abby's gonna fly this, I hope. She voiced wanting to and I think that's because it's such a good looking airplane. I am beyond excited to try to fly this today even though we've got tons of wind just to represent our buddy RJ and hopefully do him some justice on a maiden flight of, in my opinion, E-Flight's now most beautiful airplane. I want to see more stuff like this E-Flight. It gets me excited. Not to mention we got to see a similar looking Decathlon fly this fall too. That's so right. That's pretty cool. Yeah, we know another guy out of Kentucky. Charlie. That flies no glue required, super easy assembly. And despite getting about 12 mile an hour, maybe 15 mile an hour gusts, which I'm sure you guys can hear, we're gonna put this in the air, have some fun and see how it does. Seriously, what a beautiful plane. I absolutely love the way this thing looks. And we have one of my favorite size batteries in here, a 4S2200. That is just a beautiful plane, Abby. Safe is on a switch, but I do have safe off just because I feel pretty good about this. Yeah, nice. It's a horrible wind. I'll get a feel for it here in just a second. <laughs> Actually sounds pretty good. <laughs> the wind is knocking me around like crazy right now which I didn't expect. Might have to do a little trimming too, but this is a maiden flight. What do you think, Abby? This is quick. Looks It'll fly good. on a 3S or a 4S battery, and I got a 4S in there, so you know, we haven't even woke it up at all yet. This is kind of about 60% throttle or so. Let's do a couple full throttle passes here in a minute. Boy, this wind knocks it around. It's just wild. I, I'm kicking it in safe for you. Show you what that looks like too. But let's see. Let's do a full throttle pass down the runway. Here's full throttle. Up and snap it, right? Yep. That's a rocket. Man, I like that. Oh, that's cool. That's cool. It's an absolute rocket. Here's full throttle. Up. Roll it on the way up and bring it back around. Full throttle, baby. Full throttle into a snap here. That's a show plane if I've ever seen one. I like this. It's a little squirrely in this wind, but that's a small wing, you know? We don't have a lot, a lot that we're working with here. She'll knife edge great though, even in this wind. Boy, that wind is awful today. It was either fly in the wind today like this, which is really insane, uh, or in the rain and thunderstorms. It's just been really awful weather, guys. And you know, beggars can't be choosers. We, we don't make the weather. Someone might be making it, but it's not us. And it's not been good for airplanes lately. So this is just the best we got. At least we have blue skies and white fluffy clouds today, which is very nice, despite this wind. I got to keep some throttle on. As you guys can see, it's just knocking me around. That roll rate's nice. Let's see a couple rolls coming over here. Left roll get it inverted oh well, she flies upside down just fine and now abby said she wanted to fly this so we got to talk her into <laughs> flying this thing on a calm day <clears throat> almost flies inverted better than the right regular we gotta i gotta just get a calm day on this because this is just wild but i love those colors they are popping in the sky really well again i think it's one of the best looking planes that e-flight has made and you guys you got to forgive us 
Uh, I am super congested right now. Abby's not talking because we are both just coming off of a horrible cough uh, bug that the whole family got, us and the kids. And uh, today's like the best day we've felt in, in about a week actually, just so it's, <clears throat> it's been pretty wild. Okay, let's kick safe on and see how that does in the wind. All right, so safe is on. I'm about maybe let's just hit it about 60% throttle so we can keep fighting this wind and that makes me feel very comfortable just putzing this around in safe it fights the wind really well listen to this pass probably can't even hear it over the wind but that's got a nice loud prop on there it just sounds pretty cool actually there's safe for you you know, I'd feel really good landing this with safe on today, to be honest with you. But just in case you're wondering, you know, safe works extremely well on this. It's a good candidate for a person's like probably second or third airplane. I wouldn't necessarily recommend this as a first because it's designed to be a stunt plane, right? We can do all kinds of good stuff with this. Let's see if she'll do a spin. I want this to be my new Valiant. Oh yeah, okay, great. Kind of rolled it over and I shouldn't have, but there's a spin. Not a great one. I like this size airplane a lot. I do too. It's perfect. It fits in the car without having to uh, take it apart. Although it's just two thumb screws if you want to. No wires to disconnect or anything. I like the power that it has. Abby, you might even prefer flying it on a 3S, but 4S, she'll just climb, climb, climb. That was a wild little loop. Didn't even intend to do that. Let's do a nice clean loop out here. RJ, we'll, uh, if you're watching this, buddy, we'll, we'll fly this again on a less windy day and hopefully do you some more justice. What you guys are hearing is my low voltage alarm. Well, he's an amazing RC pilot. I he is an amazing RC pilot. He'll ever do him pilot. justice. <laughs> but, well, I'm trying. It's some wild wind. It's time to land, though, with our low voltage alarm. And I think that was a pretty fair maiden considering all this wind. So let's bring it in, hopefully still in one piece today. Just coming in nose right into the wind funny angle right at that hillside this is going to be a sloppy Ooh. landing oh there we go that wasn't bad those uh the landing gear really helped they're kind of springy and i like that i wasn't expecting that but that really helped soften that landing quite a bit now if you didn't notice this we have a wingtip nav light right and i think there's a white flashing beacon light and then we should have red on the other side but the tail has a light as well white bright light there fairly bright anyway mm -hmm. and you can see the wire it runs here and plugs into the rear of the fuselage kind of an interesting way they did that but it's nice because it's on the tail of an actual moving rudder which you don't get all the time and then there's our other side of our lights on the wing the wing struts were very interesting the way they did them this was a this felt to me like either they rehashed something that was older than i've ever had or they did this from the ground up because even the way they did the wing struts was different is almost spring loaded to get this portion in there and then it just clips into place down here again about 20 minutes had this in the air or at least they're worthy and ready to go i really like it i know abby's in love with it especially the way it looks <laughs> and on a more calm day you got to kick safe on and give it a shot abby it's very fun to fly and just looks amazing and it's just a showstopper this is a showstopper paint scheme and i'm really happy with it if you guys like it we'll have it linked in the description box below i hope to see this more on the channel in nicer calmer weather days uh, so expect that if you're not a subscriber be sure to hit subscribe and guys i want to encourage you i know i jumped in front of the camera today to fly in some wild wind but that's because i've been flying for like 10 years now basically straight and i trust my own instincts i know my own limitations uh, but we can all make mistakes and a gust of wind can knock us out of the air you never know when that's going to happen maybe you're a new pilot just getting into this i want to encourage you to fly with ama it's the academy of model aeronautics for the price of about two batteries for this airplane maybe three batteries you can be insured for the entire year it's extremely important that you not just fly with some type of insurance but you fly by the rules and guidelines that ama sets in place because i think it helps represent our hobby in a very good way and there are people a lot of people actually and some channels that are really big there's a couple that are huge that upload videos that are extremely poor representations of our hobby and that's why we have the FAA stepping in and kind of restricting what we can and cannot do in our hobby because of the poor representation of it and I think that more people should speak out against those channels and for good flying 
Not that I'm perfect by any means, but at least we're trying to make the effort to represent the hobby in the best way possible. And I'm gonna encourage you, fly with AMA. We'll have them linked in the description box below near the link where you can pick up this airplane. And remember, if you use the links in our description box, it helps to support our channel and our family so we can buy that cough medicine to get through these nasty days and to keep the content rolling on our channel. We really appreciate you guys. Now I want to say a massive thanks to God for blessing us with such a beautiful day, despite the wind. I'm not complaining. This is amazing. It is early March, and here where we live, this is unheard of weather in the mid-70s. I'm super grateful. So a massive thanks to God, and a huge thanks also to our Patreon supporters for keeping our channel going. If you love airplanes about like this, we'll have a hand-picked video popping up right about now just for you. Thanks for watching. We'll see you there. Bye!